Hello, I'm Laura. I work for CISO and I head up the design and product teams. And today we're going to be introducing Karina, who's our knitwear designer. And we're going to talk to you about some of our styling notes and details of our knitwear range for September. So Karina and your mum Lynn and partner Tim went down to visit our Penzance store, which was one of our very first shops and chose some outfits she really liked to wear a trial in some of our favourite places around the town. We went to a gallery and some really lovely cafes and restaurants there and then we had a really nice walk along the promenades. Now that jumper is beautiful. Where have you got your inspiration from for that piece? It pretty much came from the sea and the sand and the landscape around Cornwall. So the colours of the sea linked back with the landscape as well. And then just really looking at some imagery of the sand ripples, um, which was basically inspiring your cardigan there. Oh, no, this is an absolutely beautiful knitwear piece. I love the way you've got the cables kind of flowing up into the yoke and all of that detailing. And then your piece really seems to reference some of those I knitting jumpers so what yeah. sort of technique have you used? Um, I've used a ferrule technique and it's been fashioned around the yoke and then it's just building up the colour within that pattern and then goes into a jersey stitch throughout the rest of the body. This is made out of 80% extra fine merino which is really lovely quality as well. It looks great worn back with your jeans and then we're going to show you how you, you can wear it in a different way. It definitely can be styled up and down which just makes it really versatile as well. So these are our famous fruity jumpers, which we've got at the beginning of the rail. Tell us a little bit about these, Karina. So these come in an array of colours every season. And this one that we've got at the front here is just a really lovely, irregular stripe. Yeah. It's beautiful, the combinations of colours in that. They just sort of merge into yeah. one another. So again, just really being inspired by the sea. And then it has this really lovely garter stitch, so it just creates a bit more texture. I think it makes it look like it's been hand-knitted. It's yeah, got that definitely. really homespun quality about it. And I think these come in all sizes, don't they? They go right up to our plus yeah. sizes and are always popular. We do get some customers telling us that they've pilled a little bit, which really with any sort of wool rich yarn is always going to be something that can happen. It's not a sign of poor quality, is it? No, absolutely not. It's kind of a sign of it being a lovely premium yarn. So I think as well with the texture that the garter stitches in, it sort of brings those pills to the surface. Yes, because it's just the friction yeah. that you're creating when you're wearing it, so it's sort of inevitable. I know I use a debobbler, and dare I say it sometimes, <laughs> a very blunt Bic razor to just shave off bubbles. So I always hand wash my jumpers. I'm a bit precious with them and I really want them to last me forever. But I know you said that you will put them in a very delicate wash in your washing machine. I just put them in a hand wash and then I'll use a wool detergent as well just to make sure I'm looking after them. And then when they come out of the washing machine, I'll lay them flat and make sure that they dry properly. And then I won't hang them up just so they don't lose any of their shape and I'll fold them up and pop them in a box underneath my bed. I've got a sealable plastic bag just to give them a bit more protection because I'm always worried that the moths are going to get at them. So this is the lovely Longshore Drift jumper in this really stunning jacquard design and its friend, this kelp bed cardigan. These are both uh, jacquard design, that's the technique that's used for these jumpers and then we've just got on the inside this bird's eye back which actually looks great when you sort of turn it up as well, it just yeah, gives it an added texture onto that. And again this was inspired by seaweeds and what yes. we've got around Cornwall Fabulous. and I really wanted to scale this pattern up just to create a bit of statement and drama with these pieces. And I love how you've got the neutral contrast in that one and yeah. then this is just a little bit softer with that pool colourway. And again we're just using a really lovely extra fine merino yarn within this jacquard as well to create a premium quality. And then we've got the Buckshorn cardigan which yes. is obviously similar to the jumper you're wearing. Yeah, so it's a friend to the jumper but with this one we've just gone for a whole melange base and then we've got these really soft blues coming through at the highlight of the ferrule design there. It's really versatile yeah. isn't it? And then we've got the lovely Zenamore jumper there. With this one, it's a intarsia design, so it's a little bit more special than the jacquard technique. So on the reverse side, you don't have that sort of bird's eye back. It's great for more graphic designs, but it is a really special technique, sometimes a bit more expensive, is, but yeah. worth every penny. I really like the graduation of colours you've got there and then the little moulin A where you've got the two yarns together. Just sort of adds a little bit more texture yeah. throughout it as well. 
So our inspiration for this September launch is C, referencing our nautical maritime heritage, our love of the coast and the water that surrounds us. We've got the waves crashing against the coast and that lovely intersection between land and sea and the patterns and textures that the sea creates in the sand, which has really inspired the cables and ribs stitch details that Karina's built into some of our knitwear. Karina, tell us about some of the colour palettes. We've got these really lovely dark greens, like dark wreckage, and then with some rich blues as well. And then these gorgeous dulse pinks and hints of olive greens coming through as well. Dulse is that lovely seaweed, isn't it, that you often see washed up on the shores. It's sort of really rich, pinky reds, yeah. and fades out to softer colours and looks great, warm back, as you say, with the olives and the more khaki greens. So Karina went down to visit our Penzance store yesterday and I think you chose some outfits you really like to wear a trial and now you're wearing a really lovely skirt back with your Buck's Horn jumper. Why did you choose this outfit? I think it's just really versatile so I had my jeans on earlier with this jumper and now I've paired it back with the skirt which just makes it really feminine and then I've got these really lovely kind of chunky boots on which sort of brings that nod back to that heritage look that we always go for at Sea Salt. It's got some really great big pockets as well and then I've got this landing top underneath which is just really nice to layer underneath jumpers for the time of year. Them. I'm also wearing one and we've got it in another colour here and it's um, Friend the Easel which is in the same fabric. Lovely sort of soft cotton melange with a boat neck and they come in a real array of colours. Um, I love your skirt, I love the yarn dye in the corduroy, it's really muted and then as you move you just see sort of different colours coming through and sort of picks out colours in your jumper. Yeah, it's a really lovely soft fine needle cord as well and then it's lined underneath so it is really soft against your skin yeah. which is really comfortable to wear and I guess going around Penzance for the day having those boots on was perfect it was perfect because there's quite a few cobbled streets around Penzance so these were great for walking around in so we've got another colorway here in the tan and then I think they come in two more colors and now Karina is wearing our trend wheel coat and it obviously starts to get a little bit cooler in September it's really when we start to transition sort of more into that kind of autumn feel so this is a lovely wool blend great boucle texture the most beautiful sort of petrol color was that nice to wear out yesterday it was it was quite windy so it was really nice to put this on just as an extra layer to keep warm I mean obviously when it's really rainy down here with one of our raincoats is perfect but yes. for, for those sort of interim days where it is a bit chilly these are just lovely and then you've got this gorgeous crossbody bag in leather the Trevedra bag and it's a really useful size to just kind of have your wallet and your phone in and that unusual colour accents nicely off the teal green of the coat and then it's just really easy to use it's got a little snap there and then yeah really comfortable and easy to wear as well yeah I think the straps adjustable and I, I just really like yeah. that little, little tab detail that stitching yeah and the kind of raw but painted edges it looks really nice so your mum wore this lovely jumper, which is the Carbis jumper, yes. in this classic stripe. It's got this lovely little nap in it, so you get a bit of extra texture. Did she enjoy wearing this one? She did. She it looked possibly. really, really great as well, because it was a little bit oversized, and it does have this nice high-low hem, and then the stripe just runs all the way through into the hem and the cuff as well. Did she wear it over the land tube shirt? Yeah, so she actually had it all buttoned up so you could have the collar out. I think having the little shirt collar showing through under a jumper just feels a little bit more modern. This is really soft, it's a little double cloth where you've got the different scales of check on either side and it buttons all the way through, so a really nice um, outfit combination. And then this gorgeous jacket, a new style for us, the Peak Pitch jacket in this boiled wool it's a sort of boxier shape with these great patch pockets. It was a little bit chilly, so mum had this one over the jumper. I really love how we've got all these raw edges on this jacket as well. It just makes it feel really contemporary. Yeah, I agree. And then I'm wearing uh, the Asphodel trousers, but I think your mum was wearing them in birch, which is yeah. this lovely neutral. I'm wearing the Admiral Blue, which is this really rich blue. It's a, a crop trouser really comfortable, goes with everything, you can dress it up and dress it down um, and then as you can see I'm wearing mine with some higher heeled boots but uh, the clear path 
which come in the black and also the tan. I think your mum was wearing them in the Brock Barrow. Yeah. Which is this great kind of walking boot style, but more of a kind of fashion style, which we've seen a lot in, in trend sites. Probably something my mum wouldn't usually go for, but she loved them and said they were really comfortable and wants to buy the whole look. So then to finish off the look, Mum chose this gorgeous bag. It's great because it just has these sort of backpack shoulder straps and then also you can hold it in your hand as well. And then this great big zip at the top here, this bag holds a lot in there. So we uh, went to the exchange gallery and picked up a couple of cards in the gift shop and then later we went down to this independence bookshop called Edge of the World and we bought some books so they fit in there perfectly which we could Perfect. carry around all day. So I think Tim chose this jumper from our men's range. We do a really expanded range of menswear now, so you can dress head to toe. There's some great rain pieces and shirts and other knitwear. Uh, this is great, this bison jumper in this yeah. Firth charcoal tweed. Yeah, he really loved it. It's 100% wool as well, but he was saying that it was so comfortable and soft and wasn't itchy. But I just really love all of this colour and texture that's yeah, mixed into the yarn. Throughout the day, he did fold up the sleeves, which is a nice sort of added touch. So we hope you found our chat today interesting and that you found the tips and insights useful. It's been great, Karina, chatting with you and learning a little bit more about your design and your process. We'd love to hear from you. So if you'd like to share anything with us, please do so via our website or our social channels. But thanks very much.